What happens to your old electronics? Electronics waste, or e-waste, frequently contains hazardous materials that, if improperly disposed of, can cause severe human and environmental health impacts. Computer monitors and older TVs contain an average of four pounds of hazardous materials, such as lead, nickel, and mercury. Kent State University recycles just about anything with a cord. Although Kent State does not take TV sets for recycling, they may be recycled in other programs. A quick search can show you where you can find a nearby facility. The National Safety Council estimates that nearly 250 million computers will become obsolete within the next five years. Over 130 million phones are discarded every year as well. Oftentimes, less reputable e-waste recycling centers sell their waste to developing countries. These communities are exposed to hazardous chemicals from the e-waste, which contributes to a significant health risk. Kent State recycles nearly 10,000 pounds of e-waste every month. Also, Kent State holds an e-waste recycling day every spring during Recycle Mania. This is a day that e-waste collection is free and open to the public. All of the collected e-waste is then taken to the RET3 facility in Cleveland, Ohio. RET3 is an R2 certified recycler. R2 is the premier global standard for environmental impact, worker health and safety for the electronics refurbishing and recycling industry. They refurbish electronics that can be reused and donate them to schools and nonprofit organizations. The unusable recycled electronics are demanufactured into individual components, separated for reuse, and sold as raw materials to original equipment manufacturers. Kent State makes it easy to do the right thing. Give your electronics a new life and protect communities at risk by bringing your e-waste to the e-cycle drive or another responsible recycler.